So let's let's go ahead and have you do three. I'll be close by in case you need me, but I'm sure you won't. I don't and know if I'm, I'm ready for yeah, that. I think you are. Yeah. There right, you took off all by yourself and. Let me get out here. Okay. Yeah, walking and talking and chewing gum and all that at the same time. That's all excellent stuff. So here you are flying and. Uh, I don't know if I'm and Chris, what's your last name again? Clark. Clark. Okay, Chris Clark is going for his solo. We've been flying about oh. A half hour together today, maybe, and uh, you've been just nailing it. Now, there's the blue sky rule in effect. Let's get it over the runway, though, and let's get make sure we don't get down in that grass. See, we got the glide to make it, though. See, okay, right on up. So let's line it up more, uh, not over the grass, okay. and do do three like that. And you got your solo certificate is number 258, and then we can have Josh do it right after you. We've got a couple of the administrative things out of the way right away on the first day. And then you got two new pilots that are coming out, right? That, uh, do they both have experience? Or one, one guy doesn't have much? Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, that's one, that's, yeah. yeah, that's one. <laughs> that's one, I haven't touched anything. And that was very nice. Hey, now off power there somewhere. And you remember the blue sky rule, just always keep it in mind. If there's blue behind you, you're safe. You can come down low to it like that. You're staying in the blue. That's great. And you got the speed so that you oh, hold it off. And we just barely made that one. And let's make sure it climbs. Okay. If you're low and fast and you suddenly over rotate, you could go right into the ground. Okay. So let's bring it a little bit further off to the left side there. Okay. Now you can and, and shoot three that are more parallel to that grass out there instead of coming across it. On that last one, if we didn't hold that nose up a little bit more, you know, it was gonna maybe hit the grass. And this looks like it'll be fine as long as you hold it off. Ah, uh, barely. I'll see what you're saying. Uh -huh. So now let's line it up more, you know, this way instead of coming across the grass. Okay. So you're doing great. And you flew with me for about a half hour when I was here a year and three months ago. And, uh, and then you did some, now hold it in the blue. Good, good. Okay, now nice. Very nice, that was all you. And make sure it's climbing. Because see the difference between climbing and going right into the ground is about a half a second. I mean, at that altitude, if you, you just had a little mental fart there, you know, boom, into the ground, just like that. And I want my students to learn these things without having to do it the hard way. You know, we're not crashing to learn. You might add a little power just to extend it here. Okay, good, that's enough. And now it'll come down just fine. Very nice. Oh, yeah. That's two. That's two. <laughs> okay, not so much bank. I see it's kind of low, so I'd get up a little higher. And now you're safe. Remember, if it's low to the ground, it could suddenly hit the ground in a less than a second, you know, a half a second, something like that. Now on this one, just leave it on down uh, to the ground and taxi back and your solo pilot number 258. And okay, make sure it's gonna get past the grass. Good, 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 good. Oh yeah. So you've done it. Congratulations! Oh, you are solo pilot number 258 <laughs> at Hobbies Aloft RC Flight School. And uh, great, uh, I can see it makes you a little happy there. <laughs> great. Let me kill it. Yeah, well, let's go up, let's, let's go up one more time. And now what we're gonna do is take it up real high and we're gonna turn the engine off completely and dead stick it down. This is what I do with all my students. Although, okay, kill it and throttle quit. So now, the idea is to make sure that it comes down on this runway. And uh, so, you know, it, does, it has kind of a thick wing, not a great glide to it, but you're doing great with it. Good, see, you don't worry about that speed, just worry about the blue sky. Okay, good, now, now we need to get down to the runway. Right. Very nice. Great job. Now we'll have Josh do the same thing. He was still flying really well. And okay, now we got Josh Strickland. To be solo pilot number 258.
259. And uh, he has, he's done some simulator work. He's worked with this plane a little bit and uh, we just kind of sort of burnished off a few edges is all. And you were, you were just doing great your first time out. So let's, very nice. So, both of you guys, uh, as compared to most of my students, are just way at the top of the class. <laughs> most of my students need 10 hours and 1,000 landings. We do 100 landings an hour. And uh, I've just been here two hours this morning and flown with you just uh, maybe 10 or 15 minutes is all. A little bounce there, but not bad. Very nice. That's one. Well, it was so neat to see how tickled Chris was about yeah. doing it, you know? I mean, it's nice to have that certificate, it's to, to have that, uh, it's like a pilot license, you know? You don't have to have it with model airplanes, yeah. but it's nice to, if there's, a, if there's an agency, a training agency like I am, that actually awards you a certificate. Doing great, I, I like the way you use the fingers too. Because you're all over that stick. Good, good. You made a nice little correction there. Nice correction right as you got close to the ground and just painted it on perfectly. So now this third one, just uh, let it roll out and then taxi back towards us and you're solo pilot number 259. In 1988, I started this program and I got 300 solo certificates and uh, they were all numbered and uh, Okay, now here you can come right on down because all that blue, see that blue and you're coming down and down and down. And now, nice. Uh, no, that's all right though. Very nice, now taxi back to us. And this is an Ultra Stick 120, right? Yeah. Let me congratulate you. Uh, good job, great job. So let's go up and do a dead stick down for you too. Haha, <laughs> yeah. See, maneuvers going up are not scary. Uh, not at all. <laughs> and because uh, you can't hit anything up there. But still, people kind of tense up sometimes, but not you guys. And there it is, just gliding up. Well, now, as it's coming in, you want to pinch that blue sky down. You want to get rid of altitude before you get to the runway. Good, coming right on down, right on down. And now that you're here, you're just nicely oh, flaring in. Great job. Dead stick landing, no problem. People get all excited and worried about dead sticks. You know, they'll yell out, yeah. dead stick, dead stick, which only means you're gonna land a glider now, you know? And this is a nice glider. Super job. Josh, and your last name again? Strickland. Strickland. Okay. Solo pilot number 259 at Hobby's Aloft. Great job. Go put it here. Go put it here. <laughs> Two new solo pilots congratulating each other.